Hi, hello, howdy. I am Tulu and I will be your lecturer on these economics lectures, All right? So this is what I look like. If you see me around, feel free to say hi, feel free to say hello. How do you do? Um, that's my office. Feel free to drop in office hours. Or if you see me around, just say hello. I like to b-boy. You might see me dancing sometimes. Or you might see me on the microphone MC and just feel free to say hi. Um, you can link up with me on social media. That's my Twitter and that is my Instagram. So let us go to our topic. Scarcity. Now scarcity lies at the heart of economics. Scarcity is the central problem of economics. Why? Because there is not enough to go around. So think about it. As an individual, you have a fixed income, right? Businesses have a fixed budget. Governments have a fixed national account, right? So because of this, we have to make choices. So scarcity is the central economic problem, okay? We have this example here of being stuck in a desert with one bottle of water. Are you going to drink it now? Will you drink it in the future? We use it to wet your crops. We use it to give your animal. Um, so you have to choose what to do with your resources. Every economy has limited resources at any point in time. Okay. Right now, even if you put all the economies of the world together, we have one planet. Say we go to Mars, we will have more resources. But for now, we have one planet. We have a fixed resource. We have um, fixed land, right? Fixed technology, okay? Fixed population. You might say this is growing, right? But human wants are unlimited compared to your resources. So because of this, because of scarcity, we have to make choices. And with choices come costs. So you give up something for the other. So scarcity and choice lie at the heart of economics. Some people say, some people pronounce it economics, some pronounce it economics. It's all good. Now we come to the concept of opportunity cost. What is your opportunity cost? We in economics like to define this as the alternative foregone. Okay? So you take something and you forego something else. For instance, if you spend one hour studying, you're foregoing watching your favorite TV show. You might be a Game of Thrones person. You might be a Martin person. You might like to watch Judge Judy, for instance, right? But you're spending that time studying as you should, okay? Um, but what you've forgone is your TV show. So instead you're studying or you could choose to see one doctor at the expense of another or you could choose to buy an iPhone instead of buying a Samsung phone now I know a lot of people are loyal to <laughs> one brand or the other we're not trying to start that okay whatever you like to buy um, you know Huawei it's fine but when you choose something you forgo the other so the loss of one alternative when the other is chosen is called the opportunity cost the alternative for gone. Now, when we apply this on the scale of an economy, we have what we call a production possibility frontier, a PPF. Now, your PPF shows the maximum possible output combinations of two goods or services an economy can achieve when all its resources are fully and efficiently employed. Okay, so I know you're thinking to yourself, goods or services an economy can achieve when all resources are fully and efficiently employed but most economies don't just produce two goods right the uk for instance produce a host of goods right any country in the world right the us china the uk pick any african country any country in the americas any country around the world right produce a host of goods not just two right 
But what we do with the PPF is we start off with two and then we can generalize to more. OK, so. Moving resources from one product to another involves an opportunity cost. What do we mean by this? Say, for instance, we can produce either cocoa or um, coffee, for instance, right? If we spend more time producing coffee, we have less um, for cocoa. Or if we spend more on co cocoa, for instance, we have less on coffee. If we use more resources, combination of our resources on cocoa, we use less on coffee. Now, that is the concept of opportunity cost that we have already talked about, right? So if we increase the output of one good, right, then fewer resources will be left to produce the other good. This is what your typical PPF looks like. Now, in this economy, we're assuming we can only either produce pizza or sugar. So pizza or sugar, right? Now, any points on A, B, or C on our PPF is efficient, right? We're using our resources efficiently. Any point on D or E is inefficient. Why should we produce D or E when we can produce B, A, C? Think about it. Let's put some numbers here and do this with some maths. So, so here we're not producing anything at zero. Here we're producing more pizza. This way we're producing more sugar. Let's look at B, for instance. At B, we're producing seven outputs of pizza and four outputs of sugar. So seven and four, right? Now let's look at point D. D, we're producing four units of pizza and two units of sugar. So this is B. And this is D. Now, you can tell, right, right off the bat, that B is better than D because we're producing more, right? So why should we produce a D when clearly we do better at B, right? So we should be on this PPF call. Now, F would be fantastic. And maybe at some point, if we have more technology, right, as you advance more in e economics, you find how we can get to F. But for now, our resources only allow us to be on this BAC call, right? So D is inefficient, BAC is efficient, and F for now is not attainable. It is basically impossible. Let's draw this PPF together, right? So this is a schedule of what we can produce in terms of goods and services, and we have our graph here that we will fill up with that. So when we're producing 100 goods, how many services do we have? We have zero services and 100 goods. We have 80 goods and 50 services. So 80 and 50, that should be somewhere here. We have 60 goods and 90 services. 60 goods, 90 services, that is here. We have 40 goods and 120 services, so 40 and 120, that's here. We have 20 goods and 140 services, 20 and 140, that's here. Now we have zero goods and 150 services, that's right here. Okay, so let's join that up together. And uh, there we go. Yeah. And that right there is our PPF. So your class activity for this week is to draw this PPF, okay? This production possibility frontier. So do this, this is your first class activity um, for this video. If there's another video available, you watch the other video 
for the other activity. Um, this week, you actually have to watch two videos. But for now, watch this video and bring your PPF cop to the classroom. Have a fantastic day. Bye.